which translates to only the boys get spankings. <laughs> and the girls think it up easy. Never go to bed angry. I do. Fall asleep on the couch. Uh, I perfected this one. Sneak into bed after she's sound asleep, and all will be better in the morning. <laughs> Just because you're nine months pregnant Whoa. doesn't mean you can't take out the garbage. <laughs> or lug a big tree out to the road. What do you do? And normally what happens at hunting camp stays at hunting camp, but um, yeah, no. if you drink a gallon of homemade wine all by yourself, <laughs> the aliens will come for you. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a few things that growing up in the Skibitsky household we learned that, that some other kids don't. Uh, no, some kids that live in Camden or Tabor, they may know some of these, but the rest of you I'm not sure about. How to tell the difference between a sprouted corn plant and 20 different varieties of weeds. <laughs> How to prune and tie tomato plants for maximum fruit production. How to find and harvest every type of wild mushroom that grows in New York State. Hold on. And um, even one, Leonard was sure, well, he was pretty sure that the shaggy mane was okay to eat. But he wanted us to watch him just to make sure that you know, he didn't, didn't pass out going to coma or anything. How to properly kill and butcher a chicken. Okay. And if you kill them on Calvert Street, they will run all the way to the Eric Boulder. <laughs> Also deer, yeah, turtles, frogs, and several species of fish. Yeah. How to assemble scaffolding. Useful skill. Sure. Construction. How to split the frame of an antique antique tractor and replace the clutch. <laughs> Dangerous. And one of my all-time favorites, how to clear a, co a clogged sewer line using a balloon ladder. I don't know how many people know that. Yeah. It's not pleasant. No, it isn't. How to stuff a natural pig casing and make the perfect link of sausage. Oh, now, we actually had fun. We thought they were like balloon animals. <laughs> this is a, a little more recent. Uh, when going on a trip, always bring a map. And, you, you need to know the abbreviations of your state. <laughs> you need to know the difference between ME and MA. You gotta know what that means. <laughs> it's uh, it's 385 miles from Rome, New York to Yarmouth, Maine. And if you're supposed to be going to Yarmouth, Massachusetts, because <laughs> you didn't check with your travel agent, it, it's another 191 miles there. <laughs> Always let those you love know it. Tell your kids when you're proud of them. Never miss a chance for a good party. Yeah. And since you know we got a little out of sequence, it's not a party till Len and Margie dance the polka. So we got that covered already. So everybody, raise your glasses, toast our bits of honor. Whether they go by Len or Marky, Uncle Len, Aunt Mo, Bobby, Momo, Grandma, Grandpa, Mom and Dad, um, we love you, congratulations, and thank you. Yeah. 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 Uh, I don't know. Uh, I got enough for me. So uh, I think the uh, the angels are up next. Uh oh, the grandkids. Uh. Just called Billy. Where are the angels? Come on, Crip. Go on, Crip. Yeah. Come on, go, Crip. <laughs> we just wanted to say a couple things about Grandma and Grandpa. Love is a condition in which the happiness of another person is a sense of zero. Grandma and Grandpa have been married for 50 years, and that is a really long time, like three times their age. <laughs> I don't know how they do it, especially since they have to deal with all of us, but somehow they manage. We know, we all know that each, that they each have their funny ways of doing things though. Like for example, Grandma likes to use her baking skills to make some kind of pastry for every game of every team we have ever played on. <laughs> so much so that my friends like to call her Grandma Cookie. <laughs> 
Grandpa, on the other hand, oh. wants to make sure that we know everything there is to know about the garden. <laughs> <laughs> he makes sure we know all the plants and how they grow, and even when you are supposed to plant them. Another very important thing he has taught us about the garden was the difference between a plant and a weed. And if you mistake that, well, let's just say you're in some trouble. <laughs> Grandma and Grandpa also somehow find a way to make it through all of our games, even if they have to split up and go in totally different directions. They are always there on time and ready to watch, especially Grandma and Grandpa. Chair that she always seems to be a target. <laughs> 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 One little thing some of you may not know about Grandma is that she thinks that these grandkids can do no wrong. She sometimes thinks we're just perfect. Well, don't tell her that might not always be true. One thing that Grandpa likes to do that us teenagers cannot imagine doing is getting up what is it? very early in the morning to do some kind of activity. Another little thing that they do together is the crossword puzzle. Every morning, Grandma gets up and starts the puzzle, and when Grandpa gets home, he tries to help her finish it. But he usually just ends up correcting all of her mistakes <laughs> and arguing with her about which ones are right and which ones are wrong. But every day, they find a way to finish that crossword puzzle, and then we learn new things from what Grandpa found out, Grandpa found out that day from the new crossword puzzle. <laughs> Somehow, all these little quirks that Grandma and Grandpa have balance each other out, and that, we believe, is what love really is. So congrats, Grandma and Grandpa, to 50 years that is still going strong. We love you. Great job. And on